I really felt, even from the 7-1, I felt they, when, once they did 7-1, mm. they felt they had the, oh, we've, we're justified, we've got to justify this. Mm. I couldn't believe when Esther Bez came off. I couldn't believe when they took their captain off. You know, I, and the, apart from the substitution of two props, which worked, I thought that the substitutions were a disaster. And then, it, it's, it's one more in this, they didn't have a kicker on their bench. Mm. Because they went seven forwards and one back, they didn't have a kicker. So they couldn't replace the goal kicker, so their, their stats were diabolical. Now, that's that night and and the, the coaches have got a mea culpa mm. and wear it in front up to the team. But if they get it right, they win that game. They yeah. win that game. And that, that's – that's I don't think that's a stretch, yes. right, because it's the goal – if we just say the goal kicks, very rarely do a South African team kick that percentage. Mm. So if we look going forward, what's the message? Ireland were, were really brave. There was uh, so many great things. It was a phenomenal contest. Mm. If you pick them again, you've got to get better. Rob, if they have Pollard starting, if they have a replacement hooker on the bench, maybe they go 6-2 and, and, and keep Etzebet Khaleesi on the pitch a touch longer and they're playing Ireland in a World Cup final, who do you make favourites? Yeah, I, I, I disagree with Matt on, on the 7-1. I don't think it, it works that strongly against them. They don't have another goal kicker in their squad. OK, Pollard is there. They clearly thought that he wasn't fit, that he wasn't up to speed. Otherwise, they would have put him in the squad. They mm. know that they have no goal kicker in that first 23. So they're very aware that this is a big problem for them. If they're aware, Robbie, why were they holding lights up saying, go for 50 murder kicks rather than kick for touch and go to the corner? Well, because they're, they're, they're the, this is... It something within their strategy as a team that the coaches make make the decisions. Well, mate, I, 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 I don't agree with you on that at all, mate. I, I, look, you're entitled to your opinion, mate. I don't mean that. I reckon they completely stuffed it up. Yeah, do you not think they messed up last night, management? Management? Yeah. yeah. No, I think that period when they brought on uh, the replacement front row was as good a tactical substitute as I have ever seen in rugby. The front row? The front row. Okay. Now, I thought they took off uh, Estebeth and Khaleesi far too early yeah. because they were two of their strongest players. Ball and play time was only 26 minutes, so they weren't that tired. They could easily have given another yeah. 10, 15 minutes. Um, but it's not the coach's fault that they don't have... A kicker. A kicker. The, but to Matt's point, OK, it's not their fault they don't have a kicker, but they're holding up the light saying, Faf, you take this one from 60 metres, 50 metres. Should they not have kicked to the corner yeah, there? I That's on them. I agree that that was a strange decision. It was they should have gone for the corner. Yeah. But this is something within their strategy and it's it's unusual. It happens in every other sport that the coaches make the decision yeah. for the on-field players. Um, to be fair to Faf, he'd hit the post on the one before that and they knew that points were going to be tight mm. and he kicked that. Yeah, maybe with Khaleesi going off, maybe the management stepped up. When we didn't see much of it in, in the first half. We just saw a snippet of it there in the second. Maybe when Khaleesi went off, the management feel they need to potentially step up a little bit. But I think I would definitely be in camp Carney on this one in the sense of I think that the timing of that front row was immaculate. Mm. Uh, part of me is in camp, Matt, with taking off Mostard, Etzebeth, and Khaleesi in the time that they did, uh, I just felt was 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 completely yeah. wrong. The front row. To be fair, you agree on the front row. The front row and the front yeah. row doesn't change because you've got to have a front row in mm. your bench. You can't not have a bench. So the seven ones are irrelevant because you've got to have yeah. two props and a hooker on your bench. Yeah. Right? They replace the two props, which they always do about the forty-six minute mark. Right. So that that's that that's irrelevant in some ways. I'm not, not dismissing it because it worked. But they were, the front row was. It was the rest of their bench and not having a hooker. Mm. They brought Pollard Artery, played a game. You know, why not put him on the bench if you're not going to? You're not going to use him unless there's a problem. They could have brought him on for the last 15 minutes. And he could have jogged around mm. and kicked the goals, and they win the game. Mm. So let, let's let we can disagree on it. I'll, I will guarantee you, they will change those. Yes. Well, again. final word on that, Ian. So you you, you dodged my who'd be favourites in the World Cup final question, Rob. Beautifully, deftly. Same question to you. If they sort out some of those issues, Matt's highlighting. They're a very scary prospect. These are far from done in this tournament. Nobody would want to face them, uh, absolutely. And you, if you're asking me straight up if that's Ireland, South Africa in the final and you have uh, Pollard in and out half, you would back, for me, you would back South Africa uh, uh, on that just because mm -hmm. that game management aspect you saw it four years ago, I know we're in the here and now, but he's proven he's he's done it. And ultimately, 11 points at test match level. You think of the way that South Africa play. Yeah. They always like to get on top physically. They like to get ahead on the scoreboard and want teams to chase them. And that's what made Ireland's decision-making, the accuracy whenever they needed to score so impressive last night. Yeah, final we word. Can, we can have this chat about South Africa missing kicks at goal, and it's very fair. 
but we also have to talk about Ireland we'll come with the fully yeah. functioning lineup. Yeah. Well, okay, fair point. Yeah. Okay. Fair point. And you, so, you've got a piece on that coming up. Yeah. Yeah, we've we've a few bits on that, and it, the, the 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 kicking a goal is very fair. But Ireland on a good day with a line out can score another 10, 15 points against that team. Okay.